Today, we will discuss essential IAM practices, including user account provisioning, permission assignments, identity proofing, federation, single sign-on, interoperability, and attestation, and their significance in maintaining secure IT environments. Provisioning and deprovisioning user accounts involve creating and managing access to resources within an organization. Effective management ensures that users have access to necessary resources while preventing unauthorized access. For example, when an employee joins or leaves a company, their access rights need to be appropriately granted or revoked to maintain security. Assigning permissions to user accounts is crucial in defining what resources a user can access and interact with. It's important to follow the principle of least privilege, ensuring users have only the access necessary for their roles. Incorrect permission assignments can lead to unauthorized data access or breaches. Identity proofing involves verifying the identity of individuals before granting access to resources. This process can include verification methods such as presenting government-issued IDs or answering security questions. Proper identity proofing prevents impersonation and unauthorized access. Federation allows users from one organization to use their credentials to access resources in another organization securely. Single Sign-On (SSO) enables users to access multiple applications or services with a single set of credentials. This enhances user convenience while maintaining security. SSO technologies include Lightweight Directory Access Protocol (LDAP), used for accessing and maintaining distributed directory information. Open Authorization (OAuth) for token-based authentication and authorization, and Security Assertions Markup Language, SAML, for exchanging authentication and authorization data between parties. Each technology has its use cases and security considerations. Interoperability in IAM ensures that different systems and services can securely communicate and manage identities. This is crucial in multi-vendor environments where various applications and services need to interact securely. Attestation in IAM involves verifying that a system or process is functioning as intended. This might include regular audits and reviews to confirm that user access rights are appropriate and that no unauthorized changes have been made. In conclusion, implementing and maintaining effective identity and access management practices is crucial for securing an organization's resources. It involves a comprehensive approach from managing user accounts to ensuring interoperability and attestation of systems.